Hello, and welcome back to the left side of reality. Last stream, we took the chance to catch up with a few social links and figure out the path to getting rank 10 on a couple of them. This time, we won't be able to get to any of that because first, we have a school trip to attend. And the thing about this school trip is that it's all consuming. You are not allowed to leave because you need to quote unquote rest for the school trip. There is, however, one thing I am allowed to do, and that is maintain the garden. I don't think you can do anything in your room either, because if you try... Yeah, it just tells you to go to bed. So our one and only course of action is to maintain the garden. Never mind. It's not even letting you do that. No, f no side activities, only plot. What's up with this place? This school's way too big. Of note is that the first thing the developers do is start playing Persona 3 music now that we're here. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Yosuke, what are you even talking about? Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. How long until everyone starts tuning this guy out, I wonder? <sighs> Is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Three seconds. Chie, he'll hear you. <clears throat> Our school is closed today, but uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, Principal. Hey there, Chihiro. Feels like it's been 3,000 years since I last saw you. It is at this point that I feel the need to say... <laughs> yeah, this principal doesn't have an original bone in his body. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at GeckoCon. Persona 3 FES was one of the first RPGs I ever played. I never beat it because that copy of the game was on loan from one of my brother's friends and eventually he wanted it back. But the reason I am here today streaming Persona 4 is because a younger version of me was playing Persona 3 FES all those years ago. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yosuke? I am telling you this for your own good. Don't. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. No, Kanji. Do not do it. I know Chihiro much better than either of you, and that is why I am saying, don't. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. Especially you, Yosuke. You, um, you try to romance Chihiro Yosuke, and within a week, she will kill you. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. 
To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. Chihiro may look like a calm and collected girl, but she's greener than the Grinch when it comes to envy. And given Yosuke's habit of hitting on every pretty girl with a pulse, Chihiro would stab him within an hour of these two getting to know each other. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. Well, that went south Excuse fast. Me. Could I bother you for a moment? Yes. This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Yeah, that's the Chihiro I know and love. Love platonically. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. Because I do not want to touch her romantic route with a ten-foot pole. But no, you're doing a great job. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I used to get nervous very easily, and I once had a phobia of men, too. Don't remind In me. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. Mitsuru. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. And keep in mind, when Mitsuro isn't doing shadow-related stuff, she spends all her free time watching Yukari do filmings for Neo Featherman. Did I just hear her say special lecture? Which, incidentally, Yosuke and Kanji also means that if by some miracle Mitsuro or Yukari were to show up, you couldn't hit on them either, because they're taken by each other. We came all this way to be lectured? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Etagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. And there's another familiar name. And a name that Persona 3 players would know is normally not associated with lectures. Kaba what? You don't know? It's a casino. So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. In other words, no one organized this schedule. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now, so we can enjoy our free time later. This is Mr. Eragawa, the Gekukan school nurse. He has no eyeballs, for one. The thing about Edegawa is that he's a terrible nurse. He was one of the most reliable ways to increase your courage in Persona 3 because you intentionally subjected yourself to whatever dubious concoction he had that day.
though. We're getting some local legends. It's almost like one of those is the persona the main character starts with. Now, this legend actually is a good demonstration of how um, certain stories permeate through different cultures with basically only the name swapped out, but we'll get to that in a second. There are actually two other legends that are a lot like this. There's a Greek legend about the, a king named Orpheus that went down to the underworld to retrieve his wife and was told not to look back. And just like Izanagi, he did that. And in the Bible, there's the story of King Lot, who was also told not to look back when escorting his wife and children. He did look back and they turned into pillars of salt. So the lesson here is, when you are told not to do something, don't do it. I was raised on Christianity, and yet I remember the details of that legend less than all the others. What does that say? Also, do note that this guy has not changed expression once, so we have no choice but to stare into his distinct lack of eyes. Please do not get me started about how certain people use the Bible selectively to, you know, let's not even get into that. That, con that conversation is over. Alrighty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Really, a regular hotel? So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? It should surprise no one to know that this is the hotel where the lover's shadow was fought during Persona 3. I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently? Dude, this totally looks like a love... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in.
Isn't there something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. I think the other one might have been Hyrofon. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. I think Strength and Chariot were also paired together. And Wheel of Fortune was paired with someone, although I don't remember who. If they were to meet me, I wonder... What would the look on Yosuke's face be? Uh, who's that? Look, up there! Hanged Man was alone, I think. Side of me went stir crazy. Ugh, if only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Eh, I took the train. <laughs> I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Junas. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I don't think we want to know. I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, promise I'm guessing you made up in your head. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> did, did I promise that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Wait, really? When did this happen? I genuinely don't remember. You remember, Chie Chan? Is it okay with Yuki Chan and Rise Chan too? Let's all go together then. Is that alright with you? Mm, it's a deal. Are we seriously having a repeat of the festival? I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Yeah, we don't exactly have a room set aside for you. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! I presume that's supposed to mean something to me, but it doesn't. Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Oh, crap! What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? My... It's so big. 
Go no. on, hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. Uh, I wonder what it would be like to actually sleep on a waterbed. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. I guess at least we got a social link rank. I gotta pee. To the bathroom. Those save points tell you that you aren't meant to watch all these cutscenes in one sitting. But I'm doing it because I want to get back to actual gameplay. Whoa! So this is a club! Not just any club, Club Escapade. Nothing like this back home. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Why were you here, actually? What drew you here, Naoto? Are you... asking me to stay? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I think the music playing in the background right now is actually the end credits of Persona 3. I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. <sighs> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was cancelled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. Andy. 
<laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more. Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either. Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh, you're so cold, Kanji. Is everyone here waiting for... Is everyone here ready for full stupid? Because we are about to embark on full stupid. Hmm. Kanji. 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 I conjecture that something's up. <laughs> That's a great one. Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non-alcoholic. Yeah, everyone in this group is clearly a minor, so of course they wouldn't serve alcohol. Mm. I told them. Really, I did. Really! Ah, oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? <laughs> but the smells... King's game! No. Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. <gasps> that is not the law, we say. The law is that you never skip the Amazing Commodity song from Tanaka. What's their problem? They make me act like a ditz, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready! What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop chop! I'm having trouble coming up with commentary right now because I can't think of commentary that just isn't a profuse stream of curse words. It's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? Okay, one chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure we end up as the king because main character. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Y Yukiko, where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone draw. This just in, there will be a bunch of prompts from here on forth, and I know absolutely none of them. So we are basically flying in blind on raw luck. Oh, we didn't get the king. Okay, so... who's the king? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? Oh no. Uh, we're already doomed from the get go. I, the king, command thee to smooch the king without delay. Uh, you gonna specify someone there? Smooch! S smooch! Please, God. Grant me a girl. Number three. Ah! I'm at number two. No take backs. 
Smooch! Smooch! Kanji! So you were after my fuzzy fur! Okay. But it's my first time. Be gentle. Whoa! Ow! Hey, quit that! Don't make me flatten you, damn it! Ah! No! Hey! Help! Oh -ho! Only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. I don't think any of this works the way you seem to think it does. Huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two! Uh... Good question, because I don't remember which party members I did most recently. Oh, hey. Who's the king? Phew. Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. One day, I am going to track down the Atlas Riders, and I will make them answer for everything. And I do mean everything. T.A., don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. Nah, make him sit on his lap. I thought the king was supposed to give the orders. Better than that, a piggyback ride. Come on, King. Who's gonna do what? Uh, I think number four is Yosuke. Although I haven't hung out with Yosuke in a long while, so I think social link points would be wasted on him. Rise is a no-go because I've done nothing with their social link, which leaves Yukiko or Chie. Uh... <laughs> I'm number three! I think you had- Yukiko-san! I think you had Chie and Yukiko's number swapped. How else would you hug someone who's sitting down? <laughs> <laughs> Me next! Me! I'm the king! Actually, the queen. You didn't even draw a chopstick! All right, then. Let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Hmm, let's see. Oh, Naoto-kun, I choose you! She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. Yes. No. No, that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay! No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The mood here was stupid anyways. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, 
it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu Noha? Kuzu Noha is the main character of a Shin Megami Tensei spin off game. In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus, my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh. That's it? No punchline? Naruto Shiragani is actually con a rather interesting foil when you compare her to a similar character of her type, Kyoko Kirigiri from Dongon Ropa, because Kyoko is also from a long line of detectives. I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. They have similar stoic attitudes, too. That's so embarrassing! Isn't Naotokun embarrassing? I want to go home. Oof, I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. Straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with... You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Ah, pardon me, everyone. We're having some technical difficulties at the moment. I'm going to switch to a pause screen while I try and work this out. Um, because that's what a, a stream consisting of, um, and that's what a stream consisting of cutscenes needed for their technical difficulties. Can, it, can anyone even hear me right now? Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. So you can hear me, but you can't, and you can hear the game, but you can't see the game right now because the window just randomly. Mm. I think we'll have no choice but to go until the next save point because I have no idea how to fix this. And then we do stuff like personas. With our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. I put it on that screen on purpose while I try to figure out how to change the main screen. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? Well, thankfully, um... Now to here doesn't know any better, thankfully. 
is true. Persona. Gee, someone put these two drunks to bed already. And I didn't notice that my microphone wasn't actually connected until two seconds ago. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. We were telling the truth, though. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. Good one, Naoto! No. I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> I feel so good. Good night! Hey, senpai! How the hell are we going to get back with two passed out drunks? Ugh. Well, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy's still totally okay! You started this. <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning! <laughs> Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? Yes. The answer is yes. Oh, thank goodness. Th a save point. I'm going to take down the game briefly and hopefully see about fixing this window problem. Give me a second. And I'm going to mute the stream while I see about fixing this. If it switches off from the... If, it's what, if it switches off from this uh, standby screen, that's when everything's fixed. Hello, can you see the game again? Please tell me if you can see the game again. Right now it's on the title screen. Please tell me it's fixed. I know I haven't been streaming for very long, but I think we can officially call this the dumbest stream I have ever done. This place 
serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Huh? You're not hungry? Um... <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> ah, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Ooh, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Well, at least this seems pretty good. Much better than the previous two, at least. Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Um, I'll have the hug -a curry bowl. The hug -a curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no problem. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. Sneaky ninja, Teddy. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I mean, also true, probably. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? God, without a trace. You didn't eat it, did you? You didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? You do not eat people's food without their permission. That's just common courtesy. I don't know how to count. You little liar, give me that check. Let's see here. One, two, ten bowls?! Yuki-chan's makes it 11! <clears throat> I was going to finish mine. They were there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time! Are you sure about that, Chie? Are you really sure about that? At the station. I bet Nanako chan will be expecting one. Uh. Alright, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo. Hey, Ted. I did get the lamp as it happens. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. D dude Hey, he ain't moving! I I is he hibernating? Hey... D -d don't don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <coughs> My tummy's heavy! Leave it behind. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Why were you even in this scene, Naoto? You didn't do anything. Oh, Yukiko, wait for me! <laughs> hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for... Return ticket! Uh, 
Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Chie will replace you as the primary ice user. <laughs> A little bell chimes. It was great. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, right? I've seen it on TV. There are tall buildings and a bunch of people and an ocean and stores. Wow, thanks. Whoa, cool. Ah, the lamp is the right choice, so we were both right. Oh, hi, Dad! Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look, my big bro got me a souvenir. Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? Of course. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. I mean, I've been to Tatsumi Port Island before. It was almost like going back home. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. Yes? You talk to him much? He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. Is that your professional assessment of him? The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? All right, now that the trip is done, what next? Oh, we can basically just progress life as no normal. I wonder for how long, though. Actually, I'm gonna check that. Oh. It looks like we might only have Monday and Tuesday. Because if it's gonna rain non-stop for the next couple of days, I have a feeling that the fog's coming soon after. But first... No, I didn't mean to. Definitely getting the claw. That will be useful for later. But how much money did that leave me with? 57. Not bad, I guess. Alright, time to get the veggies.
right. I are, I planted barrier corn. We've got veggies. One of each. Mm. Wall paprika. Okay, we, well, how much time do we have left? Half an hour, roughly. Barrier corn is good. Wheat seedling is also good. Not even that expensive. All right, who's available? She is on her motorcycle. There's Yukiko, and there's Marie. Huh? Our relationship won't deepen just yet, but we can set her up. Let's go. The entire party shows up as always, because of course. Oh. Well, see ya. Our relationship isn't getting closer? That concerns me. You're back. Ah, that must have been from when we sent it off with the stamp. And yeah, I really need to take advantage of the stickers. Uh, what's my persona at the moment? That's a hierophant. Hey! Rank 8. Uh, we, we don't need this. We really don't need this. Ah. Now then, first off. Okay, what have you got for us? Sorry, but can you go call Nanako down here? Take your time. Yeah, what's going on there? A cake! Wow! What are we celebrating? Good question. Uh, well, today is a special day for us. A special day? That's right. Today's the day when you, me, and him become family just today what about before uh well a anyways it's the day that we become a real family hmm i don't really get it but it makes me happy yeah that's probably for the best all right Let's eat. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, sorry about making you go along with this. It was fun. Huh. You're a nice guy. 
felt like I needed to do this to draw the line. And I wanted Nanako to know. She has to know how important my daughter is to me. About time. <laughs> She's looking more and more like Chisato. Her smile, her strong attitude. It was hard for me to even look at Nanako's face because she reminds me so much of Chisato. Chisato died because she went to pick up Nanako. There were times when I'd come close to believing that. I know. Grief can be pretty irrational. But even then, I can't count the number of times she saved me just by being there. If I was living by myself, I would never have thought about taking you in. I think I was scared. Scared to have someone else around. I was afraid we'd become a family, and then I'd lose it all again. I was running away by chasing a guy who'd run away himself. <laughs> it was almost funny. I've been scared this whole time. That's why I used revenge as an excuse to not spend time with her. But have you stopped running? That's right. I can't make Nanako wait any longer. Running, regretting, that crap all ends tonight. I'm not gonna lose the things that are important to me. Never again. And another one at rank 9. We seem to have so many of these. That's the strength you show me. Thanks. Who's on the lineup today? Senpai? Just her. All right, today's lesson is about pandas. Could you stop talking? I think, yeah, I have this for Ayane. Which means, I just gotta check something real quick. These things happen. Well, looks like, um, looks like Ayane wins by default, actually. Oh, Yukiko's here, but there's, there's time for Yukiko later. Expression points that we don't need anymore. Senpai.
I wonder how my clarinet felt about me then. Cause me and band had a long but bumpy history. I'd like to think I wasn't half bad. I guess in the end I decided band wasn't for me. <laughs> uh, are we getting no chances to get more points with her? Hello? Oh dear. Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch Report. Oh dear, Nauto. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, who thanks for being on the show. Whoops. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. You don't believe this for a second, do you? Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. Being pretty bold. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death. But when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. You'd be interested to know that Dojima agrees with you, Nauta. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time. But this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Apparently getting away from that subject ASAP. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... There's a detective at your school? There's an idol at my school. When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school too. And we don't get the night slot because of course not. Yo! Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Tokun was on! That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer! But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. Good job, Chie. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. Alright, so... I think after this cutscene I'm going to save and stop the stream, because I'm pretty sure after this will be even more cutscenes. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. This is all more or less what we ourselves figured out. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? 
We did. Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. If you know this now, Ko, then that raises the question of, so why did you suddenly decide to show yourself on TV? Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Well, we actually told you exactly what happened. You just didn't believe us. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious. This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Also correct. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is, in fact, a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. Translation smacked over the face really hard. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, are you gonna explain yourself? This is not a game for me, either. Naoto-kun? Oh, thank goodness. Alright, next time on the left side of reality, more plot. But especially what's going to happen once we pass those rainy days. Should be rather interesting. Let's just hope we can... My goal for next stream is to get at least one social link to rank 10. Because we have like, what is it? Four or five at rank 9 at this point. But we have yet to seal the deal. Actually, let's count this. One. Two. Three. Four. Four social links that could be easily wrapped up if only the game would let me. But I'm sure the chance will present itself. Until then.